down there. I'm doing Molly's nipple in Hurricane, Utah. It's a little after six o'clock, probably have two hours, well, two and a half hours of daylight. It should be plenty. I've done this before. I did this like three years ago when I went to Snow Canyon State Park um, and I did Squirrel Canyon up to Canaan Mountain and down Waterholes Canyon when I did some stuff in Zion. The parking's different now. It used to be dirt there. They've developed more houses. Now there's an official parking lot for Molly's Nipple. You gain 1,200 feet in 0.8 miles. So that's pretty steep. 1,500 foot a mile. And I definitely remember it being pretty steep. <laughs> Especially the first two thirds of it. So, whoop, almost tripped there. We're gonna be going up steeply. And uh, there's some other people in front. So yeah. Steep trail. Probably just put in our first 150, maybe 200 feet of gain. I basically ran up it. So I'm breathing pretty heavy right now. I don't know why I was running. That was stupid. I'm trying to catch up to everyone. Yeah, it's a trail. It's uh, 1,500 feet a mile. And this part probably steeper. had a lot of steep climbing. I'd venture to say we're we probably climbed five or six hundred feet. So still at least halfway to go. And more than halfway to go mileage wise. That's not the summit. It's uh, much further than that. <sighs> Yeah, this trail is uh, no joke. So, uh, we're gonna weigh up. Slowly but surely, definitely not running anymore. So, start to see us to Zion, see some snow, some of those peaks. That's the uh, East Temple, West Temple, one of the temples. So, it's starting to get views. Now those snowy peaks are up north, north part of Zion, north, north of Colob Reservoir maybe. I'm not sure what they are. So, anyway, continuing on, probably almost halfway up, but not quite. Cleared the fall summit. We have our first view of the nipple in front of us. Ah. Ah. It's gonna be tamer the rest of this way. Ah. You can see the trails still going up, but it's much easier now. Ah. There it is up there. Whatever kind of rock that is, I have no idea. <sighs> but we just have to traverse over there and then climb up it. Very minimal climbing. I don't even think it was class three. Maybe like, you know, 20 feet of class three. 
Whew. Yeah, we just gotta go over there, flat, and then we'll go up again, up that hillside to the summit. So, I haven't looked at the clock. Probably going about 15 minutes. This is probably a, I don't know, 25 minute <coughs> thing. It's probably comparable to Camelback. For those of you in the Phoenix area that have done Camelback before, it's less distance, but close to the same elevation gain. But if it's too steep, just because it's less distance, it slows you down because it's so steep. So comparable to Camelback, probably in terms of time required, I would say. Maybe slightly, well, I don't know. because so I can do Camelback around 20 for my best at least. So anyway, you can see this is easy walking through this shrubland. I mean, I could jog, save time, that's okay. We'll be up there in like five, five to eight minutes, probably. So I will check in at the very top. We've gotten off the red dirt. We're up in the black, I wanna say volcanic rock. Um, approaching the summit block. Oh look, people put their names on here. How cute. Ah, back in the sun. That was a lot easier. Definitely not class three. All class two. Ah. Molly's nipple. Summit number two. I don't know what that lake is. <laughs> Town of Perkin. Town of Laverkin. St. George is out there, I believe. And then you were seen out to Zion. You can see the colorful cliffs and Zion and all this valley land in between. So yeah, pretty cool. Pretty good short steep little cap burner, um, but not too hard. Like I said, anyone Anyone can walk up this, you know, take your time, whatever speed you want, but not technical, all class two. It's a little steep on the descent in some places. You could slip, but uh, you would just fall on your butt. You wouldn't get hurt. So anyway, I, uh, I'm gonna hightail it down and I am signing off for today. Just give you a feel for the descent. If I stood up, I would completely eat it because it's all this loose, loose dirt. It's very challenging to descend without slipping. Like I'm trying to lean back and I'm still slipping. Yeah. Take the wider path. Yeah. I'm about probably 70% of the way down now. But this is the hardest, steepest part with all the loose, loose dirt and rocks. Take the wider berth here. So some of that, there was like a group of six. Three of them proceeded to the summit. The other three must have turned around. So we're getting down slowly but surely and safely so yep probably won't film anymore i said that at the summit but i just wanted to give people a feel for this descent and what it involved uh, which you would have known from the uphill so yeah but just you you got to go real slow I slipped a couple times the first time I did it. I remember that. I remember just my feet just slid right out from under me. Nothing crazy, but still. So, ah. We have this last little plateau and then we drop two or 300 feet off that down to the car. So, not too bad. This is gonna be like probably 45 minutes or even less all in. 
I think less actually. I'm moving. I feel like I'm moving pretty good. So yeah, I uh, I gotta remember which way to get down. I think it's over here. So who knows? We'll figure it out.